back here. All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Elishai, Bahashem Rahakadash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to all the Aki who are pushing forward. Honors to the Prince of Sin. Shalom Aki. Raining, 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 and now it stopped raining, so I'm out here. God damn, I forgot. Oh, man. out here on these highways and byways constantly putting up these videos the brothers who are uh, doing this work in honest truth and sincerity they love her okay and it's easily seen and obtained of them because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh give it to them okay remember wisdom will, 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 will try people okay and on to the brothers who are supposed to come do this work they're gonna love you this work okay all those worldly excuses ain't gonna save your ass in that day, okay? You're supposed to be abounded more and more within this truth. And the funny thing about it is, a lot of people come into this truth, they hear the word, they like it, it sounds sweet in their mouth, but yet in their belly it's bitter, okay? Because this is a walk you have to walk. I don't care, like I said, I don't care what's going on in the world, I got work to do. And this is my first work, okay? A lot of guys try to play cheap. Playing it cheap ain't gonna get you uh, salvation. Okay, you gotta come over here and show your works, man. So, anyways, let me go into another uh, part of the scripture that I wanted to get. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh is, is putting us through that refinement. For those brothers who are supposed to come come do this work. Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is trying them. Gold is tried in the fire, right? Let, let's go into uh, Psalms chapter 2 and see what it says there. Okay. And the reason 
reason why you're being tried as gold in the fire is because you got to be found acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Chiefly in the eyes of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let me get into another scripture here. Because this world, this world is going to be inhabited by wise judges, wise kings. Okay? Those who have gone through this process, this refining process right now. Okay? Don't we be in the flesh, you know? With uh, Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1, My son, if, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Okay? Because there's a lot of things in this world, okay, that's going to try and pull you away. It's like, yeah. There's a lot of things within this world that's going to try and pull you away from this word. Okay? You might have women, you might have gold, you might have monies, all of those things. Okay? But yet, going back to the scripture, Hold on, wisdom of Solomon. It says that wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. Okay? So we constantly seek after the word of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. So this is a this is a treasure unto us, okay? And it doesn't fade away because it is shown within, you know, when we're out here on the highways and highways, we don't come out here with no script. We don't come out here with no script. We don't come out here with no, uh, you know, paid, paid or paid actresses walking up to us asking questions. We just do the work. John 3 and 8, we're rolling in the spirit, okay? So once you come to, once you uh, come to serve your how about Shem Yom Shai, you have that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and he puts it into you, okay? Fearing your how about Shem Yom Shai, you're going to do what? Do those things which are acceptable and pleasing unto him, right? So when you come to serve the Lord, you got to prepare yourself for the temptations of this world, the shit that, that's going to try and pull you out from this word, okay? Like, like I said, women, gold, money, all of that bullshit right there, okay? None of that is valued, none of that is overvalued in this truth, okay? Verse 2, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Okay, let's go into the word endure. Go into the word endure. The word endure, right? Uh, it tells you uh, take patiently, okay? Suffer, okay? Endure, all right? To, to suffer, to undergo, to bear, all right? So what are we doing out here? The Lord said, make your body a living sacrifice. A bunch of individuals on, on these highways and highways making themselves a living sacrifice, okay? We're out here making our bodies a living sacrifice. We're enduring, we're suffering. We're, we're the ones suffering, suffering patiently, waiting for Yahweh Hashem Yahushua to return, okay? Going back to this, it says to what? Set that heart right and constantly endure, okay? And make not hate, and make not haste in the time of trouble, right? What does it tell you in Proverbs? Yahweh is a strong tower, 
the righteous run it into it and it's safe. Okay? So we've constantly been calling on the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. We haven't been called no other gods, we haven't been called no other things, okay? The only one that we've been calling on is the Holy One of Israel and His Son, okay? That's why it tells you back in, um, and I love this scripture. I love this scripture, man, because our people, here we are, you know, out on the highways and byways, okay? We could have been out there in the rest of the world doing whatever the rest of the world is doing right now, right? But look, I'm out here on the highways and byways. This is why you have. This is what Yahweh by Shemyah and Shai said. Because in that time of trouble, they're going to be running to him, right? Okay, let's go back onto this. And we're we going to uh, circle it up. Judges chapter 10, verse 13. Yet he hath forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Okay? Who have we been crying on to? We've been crying on to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Okay? We haven't been crying on to no um, other gods or anything like that. Okay? So when it says that, uh, set, set thy heart aright and be on to your door and make not haste in the time of trouble, okay? We've always been calling on the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Okay? And those other individuals that are going to learn the name now, hear the name now, okay? Those other individuals. They're going to cry out to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua in the time of the tribulation and what? Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is going to say, yo, go, go cry out to them gods in which you've always cried on to. That YOLO spirit, all of that type of stuff. Go, go search for them. Okay, see if they help you. But the men of the Lord, we've been out here. Look, even if they take down our videos, they take down our pages, we are out here every week doing this work. Okay, Lord willing. So when that time of trouble comes, we already know where to flee, okay? We already know, we're already in the house, okay? But those other camps that don't declare the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, shame on them, okay? They're supposed to be declaring the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Rakaq but they're not doing it. What are they doing? Crying, crying, saying other names of different gods, man. JC. That shit ain't for us. That's for somebody else, man. Cleave, uh, verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Okay, abound. It also say abound more and more. Because it tells you in our uh, Psalms that those that we planted in this house are gonna abound more and more. Okay, they're gonna flourish. On to him and depart not away. Oh, let me go to Jeremiah real quick. Hey man, this is simple. Work. If this is truly in you, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua will bless you. Okay? Like I said, I ain't come out here with no script. Doesn't matter what I was thinking last night or the night before. Cause you know, sometimes we get a, a, a brain cast or a cast of, hey, that's a good thing to bring out at camp. And the majority of the time, it doesn't come out at camp, okay? You end up doing a video about it later on, you know? So going back to the part, okay, watch this. Jeremiah chapter 17, we all know it. And verse 5, Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusted in man, and make him flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from Yahweh. Okay? Heart departed from Yahweh. That means that you had to be part of this at once. Now all of a sudden, you're back in the world. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 11. Okay? So, uh, Sirach chapter 2 and verse 3 onto him and depart not away. Okay? So that individual back in Jeremiah where it says thus saith the Lord, thus saith Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusted a man and make him flesh his arm and whose heart departed from Yahweh. Okay? Your heart departed from uh, your maker 
and you went on to go and uh, pray unto other gods and such, okay? When this is the truth around the world, okay? These scriptures right here is a containment, okay? Of the actions that happen, the actions that are gonna happen, the actions that are happening right now, okay? All these things are written in the scriptures of war time for our learning, okay? And to reflect back and say, look, every word of the Lord is pure. Everything that he says is pure. And everything that he says is 100% born, okay? So going into this, Jeremiah 17 and 7, blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh, whose hope Yahweh is, okay? A lot of these guys don't put their trust in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, they put their trust in Egypt because there are many. Let's go into that real quick. That's why our people are so fucked up. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into me, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Bitch. So our people want to put their trust into uh, this land here. Okay, they want to put their trust into this land here. Oh, wait, man. He saw Edom. And guess what's going to happen? Let's go, let's go to another scripture. Oh, wait. Let's go to another scripture and then another one. Uh, 31, Isaiah chapter 31. And one, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay? And this is what our people do. They mainly take their trust. Jeremiah 17 and 5. Okay? And the ones that don't... Uh, and the ones that don't know the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, okay? What they do? They put that, they put that off, and they go put their trust into the world, okay? They put their trust into the world, into this man's system, okay? I was gonna say something, Max, but never, never mind, man. Those motherfuckers are so butt hurt. I don't know what I'm doing, but I must be doing something good. Cause they taking out my channels left, right, and center. Now I'm on KDC 3, okay? Uh, continuing. Go to them that go down, uh, Isaiah chapter 31 and 1. Go to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust the chairs because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh, okay? Hey. That's their business, man. That's why it says in uh, Judges there, go cry out to them gods which you have called upon, man. Not one day you took the time to call upon Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But who'd you take the time to call upon? Serapis Crispy. Okay? You didn't take the time to, to consider in your mind, okay, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. I should seek the Holy One of Israel. Okay? No, you went and said you should be a Muslim. You went and said whatever else garbage that you want to be, okay? Now let's go into uh, verse 30, uh, Isaiah chapter 36 and verse 6, okay? Lo, no, thou trusted in the staff of, of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him, okay? That's your fault, man. Who the hell told you to put your trust in this man? You can't even, you can't even trust anything that these politicians got to say, man. Because they're liars. One, one, one time they'll tell you it's this, next time they'll tell you it's that. Then they'll lie and say our science was off, lean. You know, they always got a scapegoat. Some guy, you know? They always got a scapegoat, you know? It was his fault. It was this guy's fault. And they just leave him in the end. They just leave him for, uh, you know, to be dried meat, to be token, okay? So, 
because you wanted to put your trust in, in this man, guess what? That's going to be your shame, man. But blessed be the man that does what? Jeremiah, back to Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusts in Yahweh, who Yahweh is. Lamentations chapter 3. Okay? What does it tell you? Lamentations chapter 3 and verse uh, 24 to 26. Go we'll read it. Okay? That's our hope. That's our trust. Okay? Not putting our trust into our own strength, our own mind, and all that thing. Proverbs tells you what? You gotta crack it open again. Proverbs chapter 3, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding, okay? And a lot of these individuals lean to their own understanding. Well, I'm going to go convert to be this, I'm going to go convert to be that. I just told you, this, this, his words are sure, not Buddha and all the rest of those fucking false gods, okay? Yahweh, Mahashem Yahushai. Okay? These words are pure. These words you can trust in. Okay? In fact, this book is full of prophecy. When you go into, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, yeah. Of Second Peter. I try to hold these blood clot scriptures. When you go to Second Peter, what does it say? Second Peter, chapter one, and verse nineteen. We have, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, and that's you see. When we put our trust into Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, all of these things are revealed unto us, okay? Through that wisdom, through that knowledge, we'll get into that fear, okay? Chiefly, get it with the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, all these things are given unto us, okay? So we get the understanding that, look, you know, these things around here are temporal, and they don't mean nothing, okay? But through this word, Hey man. Hey, when you go into Revelation chapter what, 19 and 10, it tells you that Yahweh Shai is the spirit, is the spirit. That's the spirit of prophecy, man. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 7. Though I come written in the volume of the book. Okay, Hebrews as well. So if you don't understand, that's why the scriptures say, wherefore comfort one another with these words. Okay? Because the comforter and the comfort, it comes with them reading these words, man. I'm reading to you right now that we have a more sure word of prophecy. Okay, it's laughter. Going back, 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that take heed. Okay? And a lot of a lot of brothers are very uh, diligent about what they're doing. Okay? They're taking heed to what, what is being said and what is being talked about in these scriptures. Okay? The rest of these people can't see it. They're stuck in La La Land. Okay? The God of this world blinded them. Pulled that smoke screen all over their eyes, man. So when they drive by and they see us here, they're just like, you know, they, they do that dog thing, like head to the side. They can't understand. Some individuals have some kind of understanding, but it's either you do understand or you don't. Okay? Yay yeah, or nay. And the ones that understand why and know, they're in the truth. They're out here pushing this word. And all the spectators are like, you know, they give you that dog head. They turn to the side and like, what, what's these garments about? What's that chart about? 
What's all those pictures about? You know? That's why Yahweh Shai said, it's for you to know the kingdom of heaven, man. Not on to them. Clearly, if they knew, we'd be seeing every hour on the corners, different, different camps set up. Okay? And clearly, this is not for the whole world, vocab. Okay? It's set up for men that are going to come and actually do this work. That's why the word cosmos is there. Okay? Not, not, not everybody. If, if, if that was the case, like I said, you'd have all plethora of people out here. Right here, there, there, there. Guess what? They don't care. They don't, they don't give a rat's ass for this word. What they care about is what they see. Their cars, money, jewelry, ass, dick, titties, whatever. They're fleshly. Okay? That's why in Romans it tells you what. Let's get this real quick. Line, lining up with what I was saying, why they, you know, why they're like that. First of all, Romans 1 and 24 and 1 and 28 are subjected onto that man. Now how about Shem Yahushai gave the spirit of blacks? Okay? But anyways, let's go into this. Romans chapter 8 and verse 6. No, actually verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are of the spirit do the things of the spirit. Okay? And that's why it says the spiritual man judges all things, yet he himself is not judging no man. Rough and crazy. Okay? And to be, uh, you know, carnally minded as it says is death. Okay? So we're always abounding, abounding within the spirit. Okay? Growing more, abounding, okay, exceeding. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it, for it is not subjected, subject to the law of God, neither indeed, neither indeed can be. Okay? So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God, okay? Because why? They're after the, the carnality, like I said. They're after all these cars. How's it going? Did you hear the word? You, you want to pull over and ask some questions? You want to pull over and ask some questions? Hey, that's like in the scripture where, uh, I think it's in 1 Samuel. We'll get it just now. Where they ask the, the prophets, thou comest peaceably? No, we ain't coming peaceably. The same way that Yahweh Shai is coming back with a sword of that destruction? Yeah, we're harmless as uh, doves, wise as serpents. But the energy that we're putting out there is destroying you guys, man. Because we're consuming you with the mouth of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, with the words of God, man. Tearing down this society. Psalms 49 and 11 thinks they think that their houses shall continue on forever. Nah. The Haobah Shem Yahusha is coming back as a wrecking ball. Right? But anyways, as I was saying to this guy, you want to hear the word? He stuck with his mouth open like, okay? And then Samuel then tells him that uh, when the prophet showed up, these men were scared. The outcome is peaceably. 1 Samuel chapter uh, 6 and 4. Second Ezra, so that door repentance 
open on to them. Uh, Matthew chapter 4 and 16. Y'all shine be in that light, shining in that shadow of uh, the land of uh, death, basically. Shadow of darkness, that valley. Okay, rough and crazy and slacky. I know I butchered it. Okay, it's risen in our hearts. Okay, we know the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shine. Yahweh said that way. He's going to pour out his spirit upon our flesh. And upon our flesh, he has a he has poured out that spirit, okay? To come out here on the highways and byways and prophesy and do these things, right? So Yahweh Shai has risen in our hearts. Not in the rest of these people out here. The rest of these people out here are gone. They're finished. The woods, okay? So going back to this, um, like I said, their concentration is on uh, money, you know? What can I get today? Where's my money? You know? Their mind is not uh, sequenced or focused on the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Are doing those things, are doing those actions that please Him, okay? Doing the will of the Father, okay? Let's go to, let's go to uh, Pro uh, Proverbs real quick and we'll find out why. Because these guys would rather take on uh, silver and gold instead of taking on the Lord's instructions, okay? Proverbs chapter 8 and verse uh, 10. Receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired, that may be desired, are not to be compared to it. Okay? So, we have, a, we have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that this is uh, precious. Okay? This is precious onto us. This is a precious onto the rest of the world. They want to go home and watch their hockey. They want to late night watch their porn. You know? They want to be involved in other things rather than being involved in this precious uh, uh, work here. Okay? But on to, the, on to us, the food and food. Wisdom is everything, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Verse 12. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty invention. The fear of Yahweh, the fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride and ignorancy, the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. Yes, because that's the part of our people, man. They'll see us right here and they come up with their cowardice, man, their first talk. Okay? Wickedness. Just a bunch of jumble. Okay? Well, why we can't eat pork? Why we can't do this? Oh, yeah, I do this on the weekend, but yeah, I do it. A bunch of uh, backward shit, man. Okay? It's a lot, kid. A bunch of backward shit, man. And our people are cross like that. Okay? They got crosses on them. Saying, why is my garment flowing like that? And I didn't realize it was uh, inside out. So lock the off. All folks need to know about you. Hey, let me get back to this now.
So continue it. Uh, let's go into this. Psalms chapter 19. It's time from uh, verse 9. The fear of Yahweh is clean. The fear of Yahweh is clean. Endure forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and righteous altogether. Okay? A lot of these guys, oh, that was terrible. What kind of God is that? No, no, no. Hey, scriptures tell you that any parish that was uh, innocent, no. Okay? That was innocent, man. No. I want to lose my big ass reading this. find that scripture, man. Da, 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 da. Anyways, we'll jump back to what I, let me just jump back into what I got here, man. I'm trying to find that scripture. But, uh, And they don't remember, they don't know. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai gives them that judgment and then sends them on their way. Okay? On to the third and fourth generation. Bless him, brother. God bless him. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yeah, so, uh, let's uh, continue. Psalms 19 and 10. More, more to be desired are they than gold, yea, than than fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb, okay? So this word, you can't compare this word to nothing, man. It's, it's more to be desired than fine gold, all right? Now when you go into Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, what does it tell you? I'm trying to get that scripture back so I can read it, okay? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, starting, uh, yeah, from verse 5. It bridges be a possession in this life what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things okay so within this truth we know that you know, we don't we don't care about um, we don't care about all the Hollywood gold and all the Hollywood riches okay tell you all, we don't care about all the Hollywood gold and all the Hollywood riches okay what we care about is this word because this word is more precious than anything else okay all these cars, jewelry, 
All of that bullshit doesn't matter, okay? We have a more sure word of prophecy, okay? So going back into this, so if you out there running around looking for gold, looking for money, you're locked out because this word, hey, what does it tell you? When that door of repentance is open, what you do? You rejected it, okay? believe in Nostradamus before you really uh, believe in the in the scriptures, okay? Stop, stop here. So going back to this, therefore when thou therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou well then then shalt thou well understand that stock here. Then thou, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, okay? And that's the deal with prophecy, man. That's how prophecy works, okay? You say it before, it's something you said before, okay? But you have our people out there, they don't want to hear this word. They don't care about it, okay? No, we tell them all the time, yo, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. They're sitting back and what are they doing? They're relaxing, they're chilling. You know? They're not giving a fuck, right? But what's what happening right now with these uproars of the people? You're seeing all these clashes all over the place. You're seeing all these people are mud, okay? You're seeing all these earthquakes happening, volcanoes erupting. All this madness is beginning to happen, okay? Not like before. Before it wasn't like this. Don't say no fucking global warming and all this bullshit. Cause that's not what it is, okay? Uh, verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, just like uh, it tells you that Every king that came into this world has one way of coming in and one way of going out, okay? Same way with how this world was constructed. Uh, you know, Jacob, uh, Esau had his time, now it's time for uh, Jacob to rule, okay? Simple as that. He opened up one and then he sent down another. That's simple, that's not hard. And the end is manifest, okay? Because all these things that we're seeing is spoken of in these scriptures. Verse 6, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Okay? And the beginning of this world here, how it was made. Hey man, if you could see that, you would, you would, you would flip and bounce out, man. Okay? But 
guess what? Going back to what it's saying here again. And ended in effects and signs. Now, what's happening right now? All these signs that were written aforetime to tell us about what's going to happen in the end is popping up. It's manifesting. Okay? The end, the end is manifest. Okay? And guess what? Going back to uh, Syrac, okay? Chapter 2. Where it says, uh, set thy heart aright and cross the endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Guess what? Yahweh Hashem Yahushua has got us. He tells you to strive for the truth on to, on to death, okay? And the Lord shall fight for thee. None of these people, all these people out here with their different gods, what are your gods gonna do? Huh? What are your gods gonna do? They got no power at all. None. Okay? They got no power at all. The only one that have power is the Holy One of Israel, okay? The Most High. And his son, what you gonna do with your Buddha? What are you gonna do with a uh, six arm Ganji or whatever she is? Vishnu. What Vishnu gonna do? Huh? Vishnu have no power. In fact, Vishnu got thrown into the sea by his own people. That uh, hydrogenous thing, whatever the fuck it is, a man, female, whatever the fuck. Okay? Seven, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have whereby ye have believed, okay? And that's why I went back to uh, Sirach chapter 2 because in the time of that trouble hey, what does it tell you? The Lord knows your work. Hey, when you go to uh, Sirach 2 and 10 it tells you look at a generation of old and see that any ever trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay, that's on to the faithful. That's on to the ones who believe. That's on to the ones like me out here on the highways and byways. Actually, chiefly started with our apostle elders. Then our elders and brothers, you know? So all of those who are, who are doing this work, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai said what? Don't worry man, I got you. Okay? As long as you're acceptable, acceptable in my eyes, and found acceptable in my eyes, you're found acceptable in the Father's eyes. Okay? Because the Father sent the Son to do the work. Now what do you say in Mark? He said, this is my well-beloved Son. Hear ye Him. Okay? He didn't say, listen to this or listen to that. He said, hear ye how shy. Okay? All these guys out here, they want to uh, go to the so-called white man, right? So wrap these Christmas, eat so eat them. And, and guess what? You ain't gonna be saved, man. The Lord's gonna come back and he's gonna say, well, I never knew you. Get the hell out of here, man. Now all you guys have step into, trying to uh, le uh, leech off of somebody else's work, y'all ain't gonna be saved either, okay? Because you got, you got, if you a man, you got your testicles, you better go testify, right? Uh, continuing, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and with all, with, with, within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away uh, spitefully shall dwell in torment okay and that's in two thirds going back to the money issue okay circling full circle back around you two thirds your mind is concentrated on scroll money get that loop get that bag right because all those other rappers and shit they influence your mind God in this world has influenced your mind. He took a good hold on it. And through that money, through the love of that money, you know, that root of evil has sprung up in you. Now you got all these girls licking ass, licking pussy, licking dick, licking all types of nasty shit, man. Okay? And they feel it's acceptable because of that YOLO spirit. Get your money. You help me get your money, all this bullshit. Get back, all that crap. Okay. You, you you got your money? You good? Okay. You know? Do as thou please. Do as thou will. That's the spirit that they're under. 
Yeah. But they went, they went, they went, they went in search looking for that bag. And they didn't go in search looking for uh, the Holy One of Israel, the Son, man. They went looking for the bag. Okay. They went looking on that root of evil, man. Okay. For such, for such as in their life, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Okay? Going back to the money issue, man. These two thirds out here, they don't know the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? They love that money. Alright? They gotta, uh, you know what, I'm gonna stand right here because it seems like uh, the wind is trying to topple over this uh, thing right here. I'm trying to hold it. Damn, this one is strong right now. Holy. But anyways, we're going to end up soon. We're almost at that hour mark. I need to come on here and put on some work anyways because uh, Saturday was kind of foggy. Sunday was kind of rainy. Today was kind of rainy, but I prayed on to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that he gave me the strength to block this goddamn rain. It's supposed to be raining right now, but it's not. But anyways... I don't want this thing to topple over. So let me get to this again. Um, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Okay? Because they took in that bag. They wanted that money. Okay? They got their money. You know? They got their money. And they weren't satisfied with... Uh, they weren't satisfied with this meal that we're serving them up. Okay? Though it would be bitter, it's good for them. Okay? But they don't want to eat, okay? They want to eat the, 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 the shite of this land, okay? The philosophy of this land. They want to drink the wine of this land, okay? The dirty wine, the dirty philosophy, okay? That too are in that. Okay? Uh, so. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it okay and that's what they're doing right now when we're out here preaching this word they're despising it they're laughing they're scoffing they're scoffing but the main thing is they have that root in them Whoa, what's that root that root that love of that love of that money man and when we tell you hey this this is uh this is satisfying enough they look and they laugh, you know? Here it is, you got these bozos driving by with their thumbs out and shit. They don't even know what's going on. When you go into Amos, Amos chapter 5 and 18 tells you that what? Woe unto thee that desire the day of the Lord. Okay? We're not looking no friend from you people, man. Come on, man. I'll get Amos just now, but let me finish out in Psalms right here real quick because I was holding this for a while. Uh, Psalms 19 and 9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and righteous altogether. Going back to people, oh, that was right, baby got killed. You know, get the hell out of here. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and honeycomb. Okay. Honeycomb breeze. <laughs> Honeycomb breeze. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go to Amos real quick. Now you, you got these uh, Bible thumpers, right? They didn't even know the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, but they got our book in their hand. Please put our book down. It's not for you, okay? The Lord's not working with you people. Just like Ezra said, what, what is it to you to build onto our God? You have no. You have nothing to do with us to build onto our God, man. Get the hell out of here, okay? That was good back then, but now the, your, your jig is up, man. The jig is up. Amos chapter 5 and verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. 
okay? So the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to be a frightening day, man, a terrible day. But yeah, you people, you know, oh, I wish for God to come back and all this stuff, and yeah, 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 yeah. You don't even know his name. <coughs> you don't even know his name or his son's name. What is it if thou can tell? You can't tell because you don't know. It wasn't given unto you. Okay? That's why Yahweh Shai said this for us to know the parables. Okay? For us to know the kingdom of heaven. Not unto them. Sorry, sucker. Okay? But going back into this, uh, all you people that want to say that, uh, yeah, yeah, God, God, this and that, yeah, God, come back, yeah, yeah, yeah blah, 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 and all this bullshit. But you're going to see. And all you two-thirds have, that have received your benefits in this life, you know, instead of coming to this, uh, when this door was opened up, you rejected it, okay? And you made fun of us. You laughed, okay? Well, yeah, how about Shem Yahushai has something for you, okay? Oh, here we go. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 6. Therefore, we have erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not, have not, have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Hey, when you go into uh, what I was talking about with uh, uh, Matthew chapter 4, okay, and Isaiah chapter 9 and 2. Oh, man, it tells you right there, man. Hear the four kings and understand, learn ye judges of the earth. Oh, shit. <laughs> when you go back into wisdom, uh, Psalms chapter uh, 2 and 9, man. All right, no, it's lucky. It's Psalms chapter, uh, chapter 2, okay. I'm going to close out here in 2nd Ezra, okay? Uh, verse 11, going back to verse 11. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Ain't much more to say, man. We came, you didn't want it, you rejected it. <coughs> that's on that's 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 your ass, okay? Fucking drug heads up there doing some kind of shit, man. Who they're up there doing some kind of fucking. That people coughing over here and shit, man. Look like they dip on fucking some kind of heroin. Look at this shit, man. Look at those fucking idiots, man. Fucking drug addicts, man. May Yahweh Hashem Yahushai destroy your ass tonight. Make your OD. But anyways, with that, all praise, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bah Hashem Yahushai, Bah Hashem Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah Aki to push this word in honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. Lord willing to next week. And Abad Babal, man. Tired of this goddamn place. The Alba Shimmy I'll try to destroy it. You know? Now you are come out there, you know. Hang in, stay in there strong, you know. You gotta do this work. You gotta do this work. That's your first this is your first love, you know? Doing this work. See what that Aki? Shalom. I bought the ball. I hope you're edified. Lord willing to next week.